What do you believe that that shaved off on your average estimate handle time? Oh, geez, I, I, I don't know that I could quantify it. Um, but I could say that, especially since I haven't, I got that after I kind of sort of retired from being an adjuster. Um, but I can see, especially with large loss, um, and that's where where all this, I, I think, really gets the most traction is with large loss, total loss, um, right? Uh, especially doing daily claims where you're doing fires and, and a lot of water damage and stuff. Um, being able to, like, do a concrete patio that a tree, you know, if a tree falls over and the root ball flips the patio up and breaks it in half, right? You can pay for that. It's, it's covered. Um, you know, you can put that into into a sketch. You can build like a, a, a reference area that's got some depth to block. it or use a reference block, yep. right? Um, you know, that may not be a level three thing, but it's stuff like that that instead of sitting there and trying to like figure out like the cubic yards of concrete and everything, I can just whip out that little reference block and drop the, you know, concrete on it and I'm done. And it's, I mean, yep. seconds add up to minutes, which add up to more claims closed per day. And every little yep. thing that you do, every little, every little, like, that's why I was so, this is my biggest problem was like when, when 28 rolled around and all the, all of my keyboard shortcuts went away, I used, I saved so much time with those keyboard shortcuts, I know, I know, I know. you know, painful, painful. And, so the, the other thing I was going to mention is, yeah, I, I don't see us going into the other ends that we talked about. Right. I, I was communicating that I felt, I felt kind of shallow that I just focused only on Xactimate. And when people sure. would ask me questions, I didn't have good answers for them on, yeah. you know, what they needed to do outside of Xactimate. And so that was always kind of a, a black hole for me as, as a trainer, but I was a really great trainer. And I taught everything that you talked about in terms of let's maximize your productivity and efficiencies in Xactimate. But yeah. beyond that, I can't help you to the left or to the right of that. And so that's, that was my deficiency is, is what I was suggesting. So, well, and I think that's okay. Um, but then that's kind of the beauty of the Xactimate certified trainer program. And that is, is that I was an adjuster for 20 years. And so I can, I'm going to teach like do little asides and like kind of talk about the claims process. And, oh, and by the way, you'll probably never, ever see this on a claim ever. This one little tiny thing here, but this over here, you're going to do it on every single claim. Whereas other XCTs who are do restoration construction, who are public adjusters, they're going to do the same thing. And they're going to talk about like, you know, how, here's how you maximize your supplements and Xactimate. Here's how you, you know, whatever, like get stuff approved at the insurance company and they'll have their, like, they'll speak to their own audiences. So I think the right. the XCT program is, is pretty great. And you guys give us like an incredible amount of latitude, um, as far as like how we structure our training. Um, you know, the, the best practices is stick to the book, right. And teach out of the book, which I do. Um, but I think that, you know, I was told like, you know, you can teach it however you want to, as long as it teaches them how to pass the test or how to, you know, do, how to yeah. do, how to use the software, right? Um, yep. So I so think what, it's pretty what important. Would be, what would be one, like if you if you could pick one thing to improve that process that exact where Verisk could help with, what what would that be? Like, is there one just really important thing? The process. To think about? Yeah, the process of training new adjusters. If you think about, you know, where we can where we can step up, show up. And improve that. I don't know, honestly, Aaron. I I think that the 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 training uh, materials that you guys supply are are pretty good. I mean, the flow, you know, especially starting in the very beginning with level one. I mean, it it makes sense. I mean, you guys put a lot of work into it, and there's I, it's clear that it's been through some iterations, obviously. Uh, yeah. But you guys, you you put a lot of work into that, and I think that it's it's easy to teach it out of the book. Right. Or, or, you know, as, as, as struck building your lesson plan off of, you know, the, the level one and two book. Um, I think maybe the only other thing would be having something a little bit more for level three. Um, but I mean, there's still I think there's still plenty of resources for that, too. Yeah. Something that maybe reinforces what they learned so that they have continual progression, perhaps. I don't know. Yeah. It'd it be could be. 
Yeah, yeah. And, well, I will say this. I, I know that there's like QR codes on a lot of the pages saying, hey, go here and you know check out this other thing. Um, it would be nice if that stuff was all just in the book. Um, mm. I know as a, okay. as a the digital book, um, I don't know if it would if it would be too cumbersome to have multimedia in there. We're having videos and things like that, or if if you needed to. Um, but having more practice stuff is always like always, always, always good. I mean, I I'll take like you know, go on Google Earth and find random roofs and stuff like that and sketch those out and, and you know let's 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 walk through putting this thing together because um, a lot of times adjusters you can do that before you go out to the house and. You know, if you don't want to pay for what, an Eagle Viewer. Well, but what about like a simulation of of like a, a particular couple of properties or something that would be preloaded for like an Eagle View or whatever the case may be that, you know, again, as part of the, the partnerships that we have, is that something that we could jointly do that would help the adjuster, you know, be more ready for this is the real world you're handling, you know, real claims now, uh, which is something we could do. We could have conversations with other individuals to kind of help bring those things together as part of a package to just help make it more real, if you will, in a training simulation. Yeah, I mean, you could do like, uh, like have a Matterport scan of a house, like an interior and the exterior. And um, that could be something that could be could be interesting, uh, like a kind of a high fidelity, you know, with, with, it has actual damage in it if you can yeah. get your hands on something like that so that so that a, at least adjusters i mean even restoration con contractors are going to like they'll get value in that i think and pas yeah. too i mean they're all we all do the that's, that's an idea we could probably leverage that partnership uh in terms of just how to provide more training opportunities for the industry uh that's good for them as well because uh they're getting trained on that product and so you may get additional use out of it so I'll take. I'll use that as a takeaway to see if there may be opportunities with, you know, various partners that might want to participate in that, and then sure. I'll reach out to you and see if maybe we we plug that in or something. Sure, sure. And if you're watching this video and you've got ideas, you've been using Xactimate for a little bit, and you have uh, suggestions or ideas, go ahead and drop them in the comments, and and uh, we'll we'll read those and pass them along. I've had things. That's like suggested like roadmap items. Uh, I got an email. This was years ago. This was like, uh, gosh, 2007 or eight or something like that. It was, years, it was years ago anyway. And I was like, um, the, the original way to get photos into Xactimate was you had to do it like one at a time, I think. <laughs> um, this is a long time ago. And yeah. but with Integra Claim, which is no longer a thing, you could batch import, right? And I had done a couple of like all state storms where we were using Integra Claim. And I so I think I sent I sent a message using the feedback or like the you know, give us ideas for you know future improvements or whatever. And then I got an email saying, Hey, congratulations, you know, we we used your your feedback to implement a new feature. It's batch importing photos. And I was like, I'm sure I wasn't the only person, but I was like <laughs> Hey, listen, <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> this video is sponsored by the multinational IA firm Crawford and Company. To learn more, get exclusive training from Crawford and get on their roster, visit croco.com slash cat. Here's what's coming up next right here on Adjuster TV.